So I'm with the fantastic Derek Thomas. Did I scare you? And, just no, now? no, no. And I'm with the fantastic <laughs> Allison Seymour. It's a love fest, and we're talking about plants and vines that can uh, withstand this heat that hopefully we'll be getting around July or so. Well, and it, summer's coming, and I think it's going to be a sizzler. Now, here's the thing: if you haven't gotten out there and done your gardening yet, there are still plants that you can get in okay. right now that will shine all summer regardless of the heat. The other thing, this time of year, you tend to get things on sale. So for instance, this marigold, just because it has some flowers that have started to fade, don't worry, this plant is gonna flower all summer long. Things like Dusty Miller, you know, this one's been damaged in the nursery, it's got a piece that is actually torn off, it's got roots coming out, don't be afraid of that. These plants are annuals and once you get them in the ground, they'll do just fine. This salvia, even though it's lost a lot of its leaves here, you don't have to worry about that. Once you get it in the ground, all of these little baby leaflets will flush out and you'll have a great plant again. Yeah, so when let me you're ask you this and I hate mm -hmm. to interrupt you when you're on a flow, but if I saw this, I'd right. be like, mm mm. So do do you suggest talking to the person that's working there or what Find do you suggest? out okay when you're at a garden center, the one thing that you want to make sure is that you're dealing with a reputable garden center. Find out who the garden center staff is, ask them, you know, make sure that the plant is not diseased. Okay. And most garden centers are going to remove a diseased plant. Okay. But what's happening with this plant, Allison, and I'll show you with these coleus, is that it just needs a bigger pot. You see how this one oh. looks a little bit? It's, it's a barren down below. Sure. And see how this one's nice and flush? It's because the root mass in this pot has become way mm. overgrown. Same plant? It's it's the same plant, different <laughs> different, okay. different different color, coloring, but the same but plant. But the same okay. plant. All right. And they were both the same size at one time. Wow. What's happened is because this one has been given a bigger plant, mm -hmm. or when you get it home, right. you go ahead and you plant it in a pot or in the ground. Need some TLC. You know, things like these grasses. Don't be afraid because you see a lot of dry and dead leaves. Right. You can go home, take the time to clean that up, plant it in the ground, and this is going to be fabulous all summer long. Okay. The salvia. This one looks a bit leggy. What I want to show the viewers I like is when you this. Say that, <laughs> it is. This is it's, it's, it's what it's, it's, what it's right. called. Okay. It doesn't have anything down below. Using a good compost, mulch, and a fertilizer. What you want to do with this is you want to take it out of the pot when you get it home. And remember, you can get these plants on discount now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to cut like this all the way around. Is that to irrigate? No, what that's actually doing is it's preventing the roots from massing okay. and not growing out of themselves. You put it in a larger pot, you take your soil mixture, you pot this up, and what's going to happen is not only is the plant going to flush out and become a lot stronger, but it's going to fill in down below okay. and you'll end up with a perfect plant and most of the times this time of year you're getting a plant that's drought resistant and the nurseries are giving you a deal all right mm. smells so fragrant it unlike does. the broad <laughs> <laughs> unlike the broad this is a different earthy smell this, that this i'm is, loving right this now. is a good earthy smell right okay last couple of seconds what what it, is this a vine now this is a vine okay. this is a hardy jasmine vine and don't worry about i don't know if we can get in here don't worry about all this spotting on the leaves because actually what that is is the plant just needs to shed those leaves it's last year's leaves this jasmine will last for years in your garden okay. once again when you get it home cut the root mass out Plant it in a sunny spot, and this jasmine will bring you joy for years to come. All right. Before we let you go, this hibiscus, mm, it just reminds me of summertime in Jamaica. And, oh, see? <laughs> so you can add that tropical pop. I love that pop. All right. <laughs> and if I ever need a stage name, it's going to be Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller? You yes, like that? I like yeah. That. <laughs> name for the love. Well, hopefully you don't need a. Plant. You see? And look Dusty at you. Miller. You're getting you're getting good with the with the plant names. Hopefully Hopefully you oh. don't need a stage or name because alias. Allison Seymour is oh. fabulous. So are you, Derek Thomas. We'll be right back. <laughs> Woo. The Fox 5 Weather App. Look 10 days ahead or hour by hour. View today's video forecast and radar that can pinpoint your neighborhood free at your app store or Android market.